solvent extraction solvent extraction involves the partition and distribution of solute between two immiscible liquids that are in contact with each other so this is a technique in which we use two immiscible liquids and the solute get distributed between these two liquids so what is mean by the immiscible liquids immiscible liquids are one that cannot get mixed up together and separate into layer when shaken together so immiscible liquids are those liquids that are not mixed up together or when we shake these together they will get separated into layers these liquids are usually water and organic solvent this method is also known as liquid liquid extraction because here we will use two liquids and the extraction process is between two liquids so it is liquid liquid extraction this technique is extremely useful for very rapid and clean separation purification and enrichment of both organic and inorganic substances principle of solvent extraction the partition of solute between two immiscible phases is an equilibrium process and that is governed by the distribution law known as nernst distribution law so what is the nernst distribution law if a solute species a is allowed to distribute itself between water and organic phases so these are the two phases that is water aqueous and organic phases and the solute species a that is dissolved in one of these phases more than the other so it will distribute itself between these two phases and the distribution of the solute is an equilibrium process that may be written as so a in aqueous phase it will distribute between aqueous and organic phases so a in organic phases and there will be an equilibrium process when the equilibrium has established the ratio of activities or concentration of solute a in both the phases at a particular temperature will be constant so the ratio of activity of a in organic phases with the ratio of activity with the aqueous phases or we can say the concentration of a in organic phase with concentration of a in aqueous phase this ratio will remains constant at a particular temperature for a particular system and it is independent of the total quantity of a and this is known as distribution or partition coefficient that is represented by the kd there is another term that is distribution ratio d now now the distribution of solute that is between two phases will takes place in solvent extraction in this case there will be an interaction between solute and solvent or maybe there is an interaction between solute and solute also between two immiscible solvents and it can be described as distribution ratio so here the two phases are given organic phase and aqueous phase and this solute a will distribute itself between these two phases organic phase and aqueous phase now we use the term that is interaction now this interaction will be either association or dissociation normally we uh, we will use the association term for organic phase and dissociation term for aqueous phase now in this case there will be total concentration or total activity of a in organic phase divided by the total concentration of a in aqueous phase now the distribution ratio is equal to a1 that is phase a present in phase 1 divided by a present in phase 2 or we can use the organic and aqueous phase normally in solvent extraction so a is present in organic phase divided by a is present in aqueous phase in this case there will be used total amount of a whether it is in ion form whether it is in ionized form or whether it is in association form so this will be the distribution ratio so 
so the acetic acid and its distribution between the organic phase that is benzene and aqueous phase as water will be used for the better understanding of the distribution ratio and there will be a chemical interaction of solute between these two phases so the distribution of acetic acid itself may be described as acetic acid in aqueous phase and acetic acid in organic phase and there will be an equilibrium between these two phases so kd value will be written as acetic acid or the concentration of acetic acid in organic phase divided by the concentration of acetic acid in aqueous phase however acetic acid dissociate in aqueous phase so acetic acid it will produce acetate anion plus hydrogen ion now the ionization constant for this acid is equal to acetate anion hydrogen ion divided by unionized acetic acid and it will produce dimer in organic phase that is benzene so two molecules of acetic acid will combine and it will produce a dimer so the kd value will be organic phase that is dimer divided by normal acetic acid or there are two molecules so we will put here as two in aqueous phase so the overall distribution of acetic acid is described as distribution ratio that is d which is d is equal to concentration of acetic acid in organic phase divided by concentration of acetic acid in aqueous phase now we have calculated that acetic acid is present in dimer form in organic phase so we will put here as dimer divided by acetic acid will get ionized or will get dissociate in aqueous phase but it is a weak acid so it will not 100% ionize so we will put acetic acid unionized form plus its ionized form so this will give you the distribution ratio that is the overall distribution or we can say that the total distribution of the solute between these two phases relation between d and kd now what is the relationship of d distribution ratio and distribution coefficient so we will use the previous example of acetic acid for this relationship so in aqueous phase that is the acetic acid will get ionized and it will produce acetate anion and hydrogen ion and we can use the ka formula that is ionization constant that is equal to acetate anion in aqueous medium h ion divided by the unionized acetic acid now from this formula we will separate the acetate anion by rearranging it so acetate anion in aqueous medium it will be equal to ka ionization constant multiplied by acetic acid and divided by the h ion so it will give you the acetate ion ratio or acetate ion concentration in organic phase we know that it will produce a dimer so two molecules of acetic acid it will produce a dimer now the kd is equal to the acetic acid concentration in organic phase divided by aqueous phase we know that it will produce a dimer in organic phase so we will put here as dimer divided by the acetic acid in aqueous phase so from this formula separate the dimer form that is the dimer in organic phase it is equal to kd multiplied by the s2 molecules of acetic acid now this will this will be the equation 1 this will be the equation 2 putting the values from equation 1 and 2 in distribution ratio that is equal to dimer of acetic acid divided by an ionized acetic acid plus ionized acetic acid now put these values in this equation for dimer that is equal to kd multiply by the acetic acid two molecules of acetic acid so we will put here as kd multiply by two molecules of acetic acid divided by acetic acid plus 
acetate anion that is equal to ionization constant multiplied by acetic acid divided by H ion. So put this value here in place of acetate anion. Now there are two molecules of acetic acid here is one here is also one. So this these two molecules will cancel out with these one one respectively. So Kd divided by one plus Ka divided by H ion. So this will give the relationship between Kd and D which is distribution coefficient and distribution ratio that is equal to D is equal to Kd divided by 1 plus Ka divided by H ion. Another term is selectivity and separation factor. So it is the degree to which the solute in a mixture can be separated by virtue of having different distribution ratio. So in this case we will use two solutes and these will get separated between these two phases on the basis of their different distribution ratio. Or we can say that the one distribution ratio is divided by the another it will give us the separation factor. So the formula is DA divided by db a and b are two solutes and it is the distribution ratio of a divided by distribution ratio of b it will give us the separation factor so here is an example given the distribution ratio of nickel is 10 and the distribution ratio of silver is 100 so the silver nickel distribution ratio or the separation factor is so D silver divided by D nickel it is equal to 100 divided by 10 it will produce 10. So the separation factor of silver with respect to nickel is 10. Another term is efficiency of extraction or we can say the percentage of extraction. So the percentage of solute that move from one phase to another phase that is efficiency or percentage of extraction and it will depend upon the distribution ratio and relative volume of two liquids. So from this formula we can say that it will depend upon the distribution ratio and the relative volume of two liquids. V equals is the volume of aqueous phase and V organic is the volume of organic phase. Derivation of the efficiency of extraction. So V aqueous and V organic are the volume of aqueous and organic phases in liter and 100 moles of solute A will be used. Out of 100 moles of solute A, E moles of solute A is present in organic phase and 100 minus E moles of solute A is present in aqueous phase. So the distribution ratio is equal to concentration of A in organic phase divided by the concentration of A in aqueous phase. Concentration is equal to mole divided by volume. So E is the number of mole in organic phase divided by volume of organic phase divided by 100 minus E number of mole of solute in aqueous phase divided by volume of aqueous phase. Now arranging this formula we will get this as because the, there is a term V aqueous that is present as denominator of denominator. So it will move towards the numerator side. Multiplying the V organic 100 minus E with D. So we will get V D organic 100 minus E is equal to V E V aqueous. Now Outside terms are multiplied by the inside terms of the bracket. We will get this. Now move the E term to the other side of the equation by summing it to the other side. Taking the E as common. So we will get 100 dV organic is equal to E dV organic plus V aqueous. V organic is divided by both the side of the equation. Now this V organic is present for both the terms so we will first separate it then it will be cancelled out and we will get 100 D is equal to E D V equals divided by V organic. Now efficiency of extraction will be calculated as by moving this term to the other side we will get E is equal to 100 D divided by D plus V equals divided by V 
organic so it is the efficiency of extraction